Ellis for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Phoenix Suns up against the Dallas Mavericks here at their home, American Airlines Center. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. You take a look at Phoenix, it's a long season. But right now, they're in great position, holding that prize top spot. And of course, the Dallas Mavericks, all tied at the top. These teams are evenly matched. Well, right now for the Mavericks, they've been terrific throughout the regular season, showing they may be just the team to beat in the postseason. You know, the way they've handled just about every challenge that's been thrown at them this year, I don't see how they couldn't be considered front runners for the title. Before we get going here, we have time for a pregame courtside report. Allie LaForce, it's all yours. Well, Devin Booker went through the lean years in Phoenix. He said, quote, I just put my head down and I work. I've been through a lot, honestly. But just being who I am and seeing the bigger picture, I had the tunnel vision to know what this can be. Brian, a lot of players in that situation haven't been able to see it through like he did. That's true, Allie. Good stuff there. Well, Clark, I think I speak for all of the NBA family in saying that we are eager to get this season underway. Always, B.A. You know, we love the fact that each new season brings a clean slate for everybody. Players, coaches, announcers, fans. It doesn't matter what you did last season. Everybody starts at ground zero this season. All right, now the opening lineup for Phoenix. The deadly pair of Paul and Book are the backcourt. Torrey Craig out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Aiden in at the five, down low. And for Dallas, we've got Christian Wood. Luka Doncic is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then it's Tim Hardaway. And it's Powell in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. A really nice play by Booker. I mean, he gives you size out of the backcourt and can finish with either hand. Outside Hardaway puts up a three. Hits the trifecta. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Craig. To the wing on the left. Outside Booker. And Booker throws it down. <laughs> There's nothing you can do if you're the defense. Booker is so solid at muscling shots in through contact. And that was our AT&T 5G slam cam, bringing you the sauce. Irving against Booker. Doncic left side. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. At the line for Dallas, Luka Doncic, shooting one. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Greg. No question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Wow, what a clever pass that time by Chris Paul. Now Irving. Pass to Doncic. just around a minute and a half into this first quarter using his post moves to get the two points boy it's so impressive you see Doncic at his size handle the ball the way he does as a defender he can really put you on your heels the Suns have gone three of three so far from the floor Paul passes to Booker and count the basket he was fouled and he's going to the line for one more Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. Oh, 
And with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, B.A., I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. Ball passes to Booker. The three is up. It's rebounded by Dallas. Just their first miss of the night. They've been aggressive, and they've been proficient. Doncic outside. Irving a screen on Paul. Doncic against Paul. Outside for Irving. Six to shoot. The Mavericks rebound. Sinks the tray. Wood range makes him really dangerous. He's effective as a floor spacer. The Suns trailing. Outside Craig. Pass to Paul. Over Doncic. And again, it's the Suns missing. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Wood passes to Irving. No good on the shot. And Phoenix the other way now. Here's Ayton. It doesn't go for him. Oh, great D that time from Powell. Doncic passes to Irving. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. For three, Hardaway, and Aiden pulls it down. The Suns have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Doncic against Paul. Drives to the hoop, and the layup is good off the glass. Paul, so good with the ball, carves his way inside with such ease and precision. That's what's so marvelous about it. The Mavericks leading. And here's Doncic outside. Great start so far. Three of three in this one. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Paul. Here's Booker. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Booker's got nine. And at four or five now, a nice start. I mean, he looks ready to make an impact offensively. So far, so good. Irving, the pass to Doncic. And they doubled up Doncic. And he comes up with a bucket. He's got 10. Well, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Outside Craig. On the wing, Durant. And he drops it in from the low post. Durant's got his second basket of the game. Well, it's a hard shot by Durant, but he makes the hard look easy. Stays focused in traffic there, even under heavy pressure. Irving, that's good. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. The Suns have gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. It's Booker on the wing. Pulls up. Wood grabs the board. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Left side, Booker. It's stolen by Irving. Lays it up and banks it in. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And it's Phoenix's ball. Seven-point differential. Pass to Durant. And Durant slams it home. How about Durant getting acrobatic and putting on a show for this crowd? That's impressive. Dallas has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Here's Irving. The shot no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Craig passes to Paul. Here's Booker from behind the arc. And Kyrie Irving clears the rebound. Pass to Powell. 
And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Mavericks. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. The Suns making a switch here. Warren's checked in. One of the things I really like about Dwight Powell is that he doesn't play outside of himself. He plays to his strengths. Outside Warren. Aiden, a screen on Hardaway. Warren, the pass to Aiden. Powell with a steal! Warren against Hardaway. Pass to Doncic. Doncic is doubled. Hardaway, the pass to Doncic. Just four to shoot. Hardaway's shot is good. Boy, that quick trigger mindset. When Hardaway Jr. is firing away like this, you know he's feeling it. Outside Durant. Fires the three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got assist number seven tonight. Durant's gone four of four from the field. Perfect so far. Irving a screen on Paul. And Doncic hammers it home. Far for the course for Luka Doncic. Just one of those games where he's got it on cruise control. Aiden with a screen. And he lobs it up to the rim. Powell with a steal. Pass to Hardaway. Inside. Here's Irving. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Greg. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do, finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. And the Suns making a change here. Landale's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Baisley comes in for Durant. Lee, he's checked in for Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Chris Paul. Free throw good from Irving. And you know, you felt this coming ever since summer when the idea of Kyrie Irving out of Brooklyn. Now, we all know the two sides just couldn't see a long term future together. So the Nets were able to send Irving away and get something before he left in free agency. Now, here's Payne. Just five to shoot. Count it. One for one to start the game. I know it's early. But you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. And the shot's good by Irving. Irving's got nine. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. So it's Phoenix now. Trailing by 10. Payne, the pass to Warren. Down low. Here's Landale. It's rebounded by Dallas. Wood's got rebound number five here tonight. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. And because it's still early, I wouldn't read too much into it. There's still a lot of game left. Here's Nilakina. Pass to McGee. Irving for three. It's hauled in by Baisley. Payne with it. Lee on the wing. Let's it go from deep. And the Suns get another three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Wood. 17 points in his last outing. 
Here's Baisley. Pass to Payne. Here's Lee. From deep. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got a sixth rebound on the night. 152 left in the first. The shot's good. Wood's got his second basket. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Payne, pass to Warren. Here's Landale. Off the mark there with a three. The Mavericks leading. Pass to Irving. We've got 123 left to play in the first. Nilakina misses. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Here's Landale. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Up top, Payne. He's guarded by Irving. The shot by Payne, no good. Dallas has gone three of seven from beyond the arc in the first. Oh, there's the alley! And McGee with the stuff. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Phoenix has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Outside Payne to the middle. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Here's Nelikina, defended by Payne. Irving for three. And there's the call on Christian Wood. That's his first foul. And that one's good. Irving. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Bullock, he's checked in for Irving. And the Suns shooting right around 57%. Very efficient so far in the first. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Payne. Pass to Baisley. Five to shoot. The Suns need to get off a shot. And stolen by Wood. Green for three. No good. Misses at the buzzer. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for the Mavericks. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. margin on the scoreboard but plenty of time left for a comeback and quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in what do you think guys simply put they look totally fearless on the defensive end well you know the defense guys is just disruptive active and energetic and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys they've got Reggie Bullock JaVale McGee out there with Dwight Powell then it's Luka Doncic and it's Green in at the small forward position that's the lineup out there for the Mavericks now here's Paul. Pass to Durant. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on to White Powell. Boy, that's the kind of pressure Durant puts on the defense. I mean, you just can't sit back and let him do what he wants to. Body up on him, even if you may risk a foul. throws good from Durant. It felt like we'd become a league where every game turned into a three-point shooting contest. But Clark, we've seen different styles work. Exactly, B. I mean, take Chicago during the 21-22 year. I mean, they were fantastic offensively, yet near the bottom of the league in three-point attempts. Having teams with distinct offenses, I think, makes the game a lot more fun to watch. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. 
now they're one of its proudest franchises. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives them a chance to do just that, Allie. Thank you. And we played through the first minute here in the second. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. They're so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. Now here's Paul. Outside Durant. And Durant slams it home. Well, that's par for Durant. I mean, that's what he gives you. The ability to score at all three levels. The Mavericks have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Second quarter of basketball. Just over a minute and a half played so far. The three, Hardaway. Oh, his shooting remains on point. Three for four thus far. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. To the paint. Tipped. McGee with a steal. To the inside. Oh, Durant with a steal. Beyond the arc. On target from range. Durant's got seven now in this quarter. That should and would be a bad shot for most, but Durant's shooting ability is just that extraordinary. Back to Doncic. The baseline, Jay. And the shot is good. Dropping it in off the front of the rim. Doncic has got 16 points now. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Durant. 16 points for him. And it's Durant with the finish. Boy, with that long reach of his, so easy for KD to throw it down. Here's Bullock. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Pass to Doncic. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. Phoenix has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside Durant. The three is up. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Durant's got 21 points in the game. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Phoenix has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Paul passes to Aiden. Outside Durant. Three-pointer, no good. Dallas has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Doncic. And they doubled up Doncic. Here's Bullock. No good with the triple. You know, he's not a knockdown shooter from there, but when you're that uncovered, you almost are forced to take it. And here's Booker. He's got nine. All sorts of time. And it's Phoenix with another. The Mavericks have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. Pass to Doncic. Back to Bullock. The three ball. He can't get it to go. And Phoenix the other way now. Now here's Paul. Here's Durant. Doncic pulls down the board. Shoots over Paul. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Doncic has got 20. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. Booker, the pass to Paul. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. 
what a terrific finisher he is for an undersized player. Chris Paul doesn't let anything throw him off. And last year's outcome, so unfortunate for Paul and the Phoenix Suns, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the best record in the league by eight games. You know, it kind of seemed like Paul might finally get that ring. Just a heartbreaking loss for them against Dallas in Game 7. And the Mavericks making a change here. Irving's checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Craig's checked in. The free throw is off from Paul. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. And here are the Suns now. Seven-point differential. And at home for the next one, it'll be Oklahoma City pulling in. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. To the paint with the seven-footer, McGee. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. Well, you look at McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys, outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. Throws good. McGee. Tell you what, the Mavericks are so good in the half court. It helps that Luka is virtually unstoppable in most of the sets they run. The team feels very comfortable playing a slowdown type of game. He's perfect from the line this time. The Mavs the slowest team in the league under Jason Kidd last season. Clark. Well, there's no shame in that for them because they were playing to their team's strengths. They want to put the ball in Luka's hands and face the floor and let him go to work. If you have Luka, that's a smart way to play. After 13 seasons with Rick Carlisle in charge, the Mavs changed their head coach in 2021, Clark. Hiring Jason Kidd, B.A., and a member, he was a member of that 2011 title team that was a lot of fun to watch. We saw Dallas dedicated to the defensive end under Jason Kidd's leadership. A new voice brought new energy and a refocus, and we'll see if that can be sustained going forward. A different look for Dallas. Woods checked in for McGee, and it's Hardy in for Doncic. And he's good on the second. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter, and it's getting them to the free throw line. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. Wood flying up to slam down the alley-oop emphatically. Phoenix has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's what you call playing big. He just stays committed to the attack mode. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at him. Get to the rack. That's good from Paul. Chris Paul plays with a competitive fire that is actually infectious. I mean, even in the latter stages of his career, he is still getting it done at a high level. Not a bunch of energy from the defense, which is why he was free to knock that down. Dayton, the screen on Hardaway. Here's Durant, and the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. And we'll see if that's the answer. Here's Hardy to the middle. Here's Irving. Gets it. He's 6 for 10 and looking confident out there. I think he's the most creative finisher in the league. Irving's so good at finding holes in the defense. Pass to Durant. The shot. The offensive rebound. And Aiden gets it to go. Second chance points are always painful. You have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Irving. Durant pulls it in. 
Phoenix has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Up and over Hardaway. Misses off the left iron. Dallas has got six out of 15 three so far in this game. Wood passes to Irving. Here's Hardy. Back to Irving. Pulls it from 20. Again, Irving missing. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Durant with it. He's got 21. Durant with another miss. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Phoenix has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Booker finds Durant outside Craig. It's Booker on the wing. Shot clock at six. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Irving, the pass to Wood. And Wood with the stuff. You know, it's all about getting good position, ideal position. And once Wood has that, the rest is simple. Phoenix calls timeout. Checked in for the Mavericks. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Landale's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Baisley comes in for Durant. Lee, he's checked in for Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. Inside. Over to the left wing. Here's Payne. It's rebounded by Dallas. Wood's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Hardy. Back to Wood. On the wing, Green. Six on the shot clock. For three, Hardy. It's hauled in by Baisley. Baisley's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Payne. Here's Baisley. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Lee. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Hardy. In his last outing, eight points for him. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Great job drawing the foul and almost converted the shot as well. Really as close as you can get to an and one right there. He almost had it. First one falls. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. And the 
and that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And they've capitalized well from the free throw line. Their percentage is impressive. Outside Payne. Shot from the low post is good. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Right side, Irving. Out to the right wing. Outside, Green. Pass to Wood. Three-pointer. Phoenix grabs the miss. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Lee. Outside Payne. And the deficit down inside single digits. Payne's got his third basket on the night right there. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Irving. 14 points for him. The drive by Wood. And Wood with the stuff. That gives him a double-double. Showtime, Christian Wood. Putting down the hammer. Phoenix has gone four of nine so far for the perimeter. 51 seconds left in the first half. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. I mean, that was just terrific work to stay in control and finish. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration, and he found a way to get the shot up and down. Nilakina, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. There's 47 seconds left in the second. Pass to Wood. Here's Nelikina. The three, Hardy. He can't hit that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Outside Craig. Now Payne. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And he goes up strong with a one handed jam. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Welcome to halftime, and after two quarters played, some ground to make up for the Phoenix Suns. 
We give a lot of love to the Stars, but tonight it's been about the bench. The second unit has been carrying them offensively. Finding some uh, favorable matchups, no doubt. Changing things up now, let's take a glance at the upcoming schedule. And Shaq, using your crystal ball, how do you see these upcoming games playing out? Ernie, I'm not sharing anything I see in my crystal ball with you. No way. You either, Kenny. Listen, if you really have a crystal ball, why don't you just look into the future and give me those lotto numbers, man? I want a mega yacht. Don't worry, Kenny. One day I'll let you into USSS Shaq. My yacht. One day. You keep saying that. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. On the floor for Phoenix. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker on the backcourt. Torrey Craig out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Durant in at the small forward position. You know, for Irvin, he's made an effort, a conscious effort, to get to the line more. And, and for good reason. I mean, he's a really good foul shooter. Free throw good from Irving. Hard to keep up with Irving. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, always attacking. And so he makes both from the line. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Duran with a screen on Doncic. Here's Paul. And that one's long. The Mavericks leading. And Tim Hardaway Jr., a valuable offensive weapon, even if he's a bit of a volume shooter, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I mean, his efficiency has never been a selling point. But he consistently will fill up the box score and always willing to shoot and can create for himself. And it's the Suns with the ball. Following the score by Dallas. Down low. Durant draws the double. It's Booker on the wing. Clock at six. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. Booker's got 13 now. Going all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. Doncic against Paul. And Wood with the stuff. Boy, what a brilliant find by Doncic. Phoenix has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Outside Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in it, this lead will really start shrinking. Now here's Doncic. Give him 20. Wood outside. Booker against Irving. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Paul passes to Durant. Offline with a 3. For Dallas, they've gone 3 of 3 in the second half. Now Irving, 18 points for him. Here's Doncic, tips, and they get it back. Here's Hardaway, drops one in from the wing. 10 points for him. They're on fire right now, shooting 80% to start the second half. Outside Craig. And he lobs it up top. Oh! 
Excellent timing by Aiden on the alley-oop pass. He's perfectly positioned to throw it down. The Mavericks have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Doncic passes to Irving. Shoots from the right block. Uses the glass to drop it in. Irving's got six here in the quarter. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Now here's Booker. 13 points in the game. And that's just terrific body control by Aiden. Setting a solid pick and then quickly getting himself open. The Mavericks have got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Irving against Booker. Doncic outside. Over Paul. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got four rebounds now. And here's Paul. He's got ten. Craig with a screen on Hardaway. Outside Craig. From deep. That shot is off. And it's Dallas the other way. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the Mavericks this season trying to build a title contender around Luka Doncic, but not a lot of luxury tax wiggle room. Luka said, quote, I trust them. Whatever move they make, I have great teammates, and we're playing great basketball. Brian? Well, no one wants to see Luka in the playoffs, Ali. Thanks for that. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. And Wood with the stuff. You know, Wood is playing with a lot of heart on offense, going on the attack and finding the shot he wants time and time again. Phoenix has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Fires from the wing, and it falls all over the rim and in. Durant's got 28 points for the game. You know, you can give a defender a lot of trouble if you're consistent with that turnaround jumper. It's almost impossible to block. And Dallas calls time here. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. change here. McGee's checked in and the Suns also making a change. Warren's checked in. to Doncic. Back to Irving. There's the triple. The putback. It's good on the putback. McGee's got his second bucket on the night. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. And he lobs it up. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. The pass... The catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Here's Irving coming off a of Suns make for three. Hardaway. Offensive rebound. Doncic finds McGee. You know, all McGee needs, guys, is good positioning. Once he has that, dunking the ball 
is elementary. The Suns have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. Doncic against Paul. Pass to Durant. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Outside Irving. Wood with it. Hardaway on the wing. Counted from distance. Hardaway's got five points now this quarter. Encouraging to see Hardaway Jr. knock it down from there, proving he can do damage from this area. Aiden, a screen on Irving. Booker, the pass to Aiden. All against Doncic. Oh, and the jam by Aiden! CP3 is so good orchestrating out of that set. I mean, he is really one of the gurus of the pick and roll. Now here's Irving. 20 points for him. Pass to Doncic. McGee, a screen on Paul. And it's Doncic missing. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Hardaway against Warren. Back to Paul. It's Booker on the wing. Shot clock at five. Yes! And the foul! It goes on Kyrie Irving. Oh, even in a bad situation, Booker has finesse. Works around the foul with grace instead of power. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Dallas? Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. You know, they've been knocking down triples, too. They've continued to make the most of their opportunities from behind the arc as well. Here's Nelikina. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Green. Nelikina, six to shoot. Off target with the three. Booker, pass to Payne. Wood grabs the board. The Mavericks leading. Pass to Nelikina. Green with a screen on Booker. Into the lane. Nelikina misses. Phoenix has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Takes the three. And Booker the bucket on the assist by Payne. Booker's got 19 points. And this is what they depend on Booker to do. Such a versatile, confident score. Now here's McGee. Tight defense on him. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. An area of big improvement for Christian Wood recently, his defensive presence. He's been doing more on that end of the floor the last couple of seasons. Lee, he's checked in for Booker. And that one misses. That defensive improvement certainly shows up in Wood's stats, Clark. Clearly. You look at his rebounds, B.A., his shot blocking, all areas where he's making a bigger impact. You love seeing a guy like him who took a while to find his way into the league step up in that manner. And it's Warren missing. Uh, Mr. Bunny. Those are the shots you've got to convert. Here's Nelikina. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. And Neely Keen is skilled, really skilled at getting good position in the post. I mean, he uses his quick instincts and understanding of the positioning to score inside. Now here's Payne. He's got nine. Pass to Baisley. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. Here's Nelikina. Wood outside. Uses the glass on the layup. Now it's a seven-point Dallas lead. 
You know, he does have a game outside of the paint, but Wood is at his best close in. Pass to Warren. Launches it. Rebounded by Green. Dallas has gone just 1-5 of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Bullock. Good. Yeah, they're really working the paint now. Phoenix has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Payne with it. Shoots over McGee. Ooh, McGee with the block. Yeah, if you had to pick the top priority for McGee, I think that's it. Contest shots, block shots, get in the air, use that length to deny shots at the rim. Outside Payne. Here's Warren. Count that bucket. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Nilakina. Here's Bullock. The three. It's hauled in by Landale. And here's Warren. Outside Payne. Here's Landale. And he makes it. Now just a five-point Maverick lead. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Pass to Green. Fires for three. It's not going to go for him. And Phoenix the other way now. Outside Payne. Here's Baisley to the paint. Here's Landale. And another basket for Phoenix. So it's the Mavericks now. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Right side green. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Baisley. Baisley's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Lee. Here's Warren. This for the tie! The shot off that time. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. The Mavericks on top, leading by three. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. All right, let's listen in. Head coach Jason Kidd is mic'd up. Defensively, keep talking, but keep helping. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. JaVale McGee out there with Tim Hardaway. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then it's Kyrie Irving. And it's Doncic in at the point. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Outside Irving. There's the drive. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got seven assists in the game. Slashing to the rim with so much precision and skill. Irvin, nearly impossible to contain when he spots a lane and decides to drive. Now here's Paul. Pass to Durant. Up and over Hardaway. Another one falls for Phoenix. Hey, draw him up a solid play. Get him an open look. And he delivers. Yeah, I put that one on the defense. I mean, they can't leave him open at this stage. And that one's good. Irving. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. Outside Paul. Booker against Irving. Booker no good. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting an efficient 57% tonight. Right side, Irving. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Irving's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Outstanding body control there by Kyrie. I and mean, he continues to score on tough defense. And it 
never fails to amaze me how he's able to do that so often. Now here's Doncic. Over Paul. Doncic, no good. Paul against Irving. Outside Paul. Pass to Durant. And Durant slams it home. Tell you what, that defense was physical, and yet Durant, with great balance and composure, just stayed with it. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. The Mavericks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Doncic passes to Powell. Back to Doncic. Irving for three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Greg's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Paul. And he's going for the oop here. And Aiton with the stuff. Yeah, looking at Aiton using all of his height and reach, slamming it down on a helpless defense. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Irving against Booker. The floater. Oh, denied by Durant. Poke loose. McGee with a steal. Now Doncic. Outside Hardaway. McGee a screen. Hardaway the pass to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. I like the fact that McGee not just going through the motions here. I mean, setting a good solid screen, timing his roll perfectly. That's um, basketball 101 there. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Booker with a screen on Hardaway. Durant, no good. The Mavericks have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. To the inside, Doncic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Craig. And you know, what's most impressive about Luka Doncic is how fast he has become a bona fide star in this league. I mean, you get the feeling he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. But I believe those games at the highest level in Europe really prepared him to be a star in the NBA. He makes a first. And Luca's the kind of guy you build your team around, Clark. Yeah, and I think this next step is being a franchise player that learns how to lead effectively. It's incredible how much he has already accomplished at such a young age. And his transition coming to the NBA from Europe has been, I think, surprisingly seamless. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And though he let one get away, he pushed this to a two-possession lead. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Throws it up high, and Wood with the stuff. Well, Wood's so impressive as a shooter. Not only does he make shots, but he's highly efficient. He does not take bad shots. The Suns trailing. Outside Durant. Let's go with a three. Mavericks with a rebound. Powell's got four rebounds now. For Dallas, they've gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Back to Doncic. On the wing, Irving. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got eight assists here tonight. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Hooker's shot is good. After doing nothing from beyond the arc in the first half, he has turned things around. And Dallas calls time here. And something fans don't always get to see, some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak.
Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. He told them it's going to come down to our defense. If we buckle down and get stops, they've got no way back. With the win in sight, he doesn't want them to relax. Guys, back over to you. Allie, thank you. He drops it from range. Doncic has got 24. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Durant. Up and over Hardaway. And there's Durant. That one's good. On the assist by Paul. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Devin Booker. Booker's got his fifth rebound in this one. Soft touch off the glass. And it's now only a five-point Dallas lead. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. The Suns have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. And Hooker with the jam. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. Dallas has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. And here is Irving. Craig with a steal. Inside. Here's Booker. Count it. And the foul. It goes on Kyrie Irving. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. drops he ties it up and for the Mavericks they're shooting 58% from the floor terrific here in the fourth outside Irving shoots over Duran Dallas again missing and it's Phoenix's ball they're on a 12 to 3 run on the wing Duran outside for Booker another three for Phoenix Boy, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. The Mavericks shooting is around 55% so far. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Back to Irving. And that one hits the back iron. Good offense beats good defense? Not always. Aiden passes to Booker. Booker drawing the double. Here's Aiden. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. And now a five-point Phoenix lead. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Now here's Paul. Durant for three. And the Suns get another three. Making his mark from long range today. That's his second triple of the half, his fifth overall. The Mavericks have gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Now here's Doncic. Irving, and he makes it on the layup. Irving's got 11 here in the quarter alone. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Craig against Wood. Little turnaround. That's good from Aiton on the assist from Craig. Craig's got his third assist of the night. As bad as he was in the first half, 
That's how good he's been since. Dallas has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Irving with it. The three, Hardaway. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. Since halftime, they've been chucking up more shots from beyond the arc. Trying to score in chunks. I don't know if that's the recipe. Now here's Paul. Booker fires from way outside. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Hardaway finds Irving. Doncic outside. Who poked away and stolen by Booker. And he's going for the lob. Oh, and the jam by Hayden. Wow, we've seen Aiden step up in big moments, in big games, and deliver. The Mavericks trailing. And Dallas calls time here. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. Irving. That one is off. Excellent D there from Booker. Phoenix has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Well, picking all the low hanging fruit. Defenses these days want to concede the mid range and they're happy to take it. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. The first free throw is good. off on the second well the Mavericks shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter and Wood with the stuff Wood embracing the moment and knocking down a big shot the Suns leading here's Paul outside Durant Passes to Aiden. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Aiden's got 18 points in just the second half. And so it's Dallas with it. 156 left in the fourth. Irving, the pass to Powell. Back to Irving. Now here's Powell. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And, you know, when Powell is this deep, the defense knows they're in trouble. Sometimes they have no choice but to foul. Taking two shots. He gets the first, and that brings him within five. And so Powell nails them both. He showed a lot of composure that trip to the line. Now it's almost a one-possession game. 
Here's Paul. Driving inside. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Suns lead by six. Tell you what, it's really remarkable to see it. Just about six feet tall, and that might be generous. Chris Paul is a dominant player in the painted area, and he does it with skill and craft. And Irving gets it to go. Yes, indeed, Irving giving you much in the clutch. Here's Booker, and Booker with the jam. And just a crafty move to get free for the dunk. Now, he's not just trying to score. He's trying to embarrass someone. Yeah, he was one step ahead of him the entire way. And the Mavericks with possession here, following the score by Phoenix. And Powell unafraid to take big shots, fully confident in his ability to knock him down. One fourteen left in the fourth quarter of this one. Aiden, a screen on Irving. Booker against Irving. Booker attacking. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Free throw is good, and that puts him up five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Since in an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalize on it. Irving up top, Booker defending, and he buries it. And now they trail by just four. Comfortable in the clutch. That's who Kyrie Irving is, unfazed by the game's biggest moments. Booker no good. Here are the Mavericks now with the ball. Now with it, and it's Paul picking him up. Now passes to Doncic. Off target from three-point range. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And so both free throws good, and it's a six-point ball game. Now a timeout called by Dallas. They're losing by six. 23 seconds left in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Yeah, but they've got to score and then foul immediately. Booker against Irving. Wood, a screen on Booker. Irving for three. He connects. What a beautiful shot. Brings him within three. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these sets, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here.
good on the first. And that gives him a four-point cushion. Yeah, no one better to make decisions down the stretch than CP3, working his way to the line in a tight game. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a five-point game. When you've got your opponent down, don't let him up. This one's all but over. Hardaway, no good. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Second personal foul. Team is in the middle. At the line for the Suns. DeAndre Ayton taking two shots. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. From deep three-point range, and they recover it. So the Suns win it. Just a gutsy performance on the road. It really was. When this one was up in the air late, they showed how tough-minded they are as a team. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Kevin, that was a gritty road win. How do you evaluate your performance? Uh, it's a tough place to play. You know, you hear the crowd. It was, it was loud as soon as we stepped in the floor. So, you know, we just tried to uh, play our brand of basketball and then just keep growing. The crowd had nothing on you, though. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, Devin Booker.